You're listening to Five Before, a faith community podcast. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any new episodes. For more information, check us out at faithcommunitylc.com or look for our app on iTunes and the Google Play Store. All right, and we're live with today's Five Before podcast. I want to give everybody a few minutes to uh, log in. And um, while we're doing that, uh, I just want to encourage everybody and remind everybody uh, to remember and pray for our team that is in El Salvador this week. Um, We love you guys. So, all right. Um, This morning, I, um, I wanted to kind of talk about a t-shirt I saw. Um, I saw a t-shirt the other day and it said, Jesus is not a weekend thing. And it really spoke to me. It really made me start thinking, you know, um, <clears throat> I, uh, I think that sometimes we, we, we just have this idea that Jesus is a Sunday thing. Um, we can, we can take him off his shelf on Sunday and, 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 and do our, our Jesus duties. And then we put him back on a shelf and we don't have to take him to work or we don't have to take him, uh, wherever we go through all the week and that's not how it works <laughs> um so i was thinking about that and um i was thinking about how god wants his people to reflect heaven wherever we go um you know we're we're supposed to be continuing the work of jesus by praying for people by healing the sick and bringing freedom and, and the kingdom of god everywhere we go um you know and that's uh that includes work and school and places that we're at during the week, not just at church on Sunday. Um, You know, (laughs) I've been trying to make it a point not to ask God to be with me. Um, I know that's kind of a prayer that I pray a lot, and I'm like, God, be with me in this time and stuff. But, But instead, I'm trying to thank God for being with me always because there's no need for me to ask him to be with me. He's always with me. Um, and I should always act like it. Um, and I, like I said, maybe that's not for anybody but me, but, uh, that is something that I need to remember. Um, in the book of Matthew, Jesus says, um, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house in the same way let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And that is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Um, and it basically, you know, we have the opportunity every single day to, to reflect the kingdom of God by being kind, um, encouraging others, um, showing respect. Uh, you know, it's... Um, it's something that we um, that I personally strive to do all the time, uh, just uh, to be a reflection, to, to to for people to see Jesus in me. Um, and I just want to encourage everybody that that's something that you know we can all strive to do. Um, and it's not even that hard. Um, you know, we uh, we even have influence over people in our lives. Um, especially when we don't even mean to, you know, we, we impact those around us with the way we behave or the way we, we, we treat others, um, and the way we react in different situations. And, um, I think just, um, basically being, you know, uh, the best person we can be on a day-to-day basis, uh, is just, a, a wonderful testimony of, of who Jesus is and how he wants us to be and how he wants us to treat each other. Um, I just want to encourage everyone listening today to be a positive influence, to be a reflection of the kingdom of God today. Show somebody the love of Jesus today. So um, that being said, I'd like to pray for you guys, and then uh, you can get back to whatever it was you were doing before I came in. So, um, Father God, we just thank you today. Uh, We thank you for this podcast and and the people that put it together and the the people who are listening. God, we just... um, we thank you for the, 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 the daily lives that are, are being changed and the testimonies that we're hearing through through this endeavor. Um, God, we just thank you for the example of Jesus. We thank you um, that we know how to behave, how to act, how to, to show the kingdom of God and the love of Jesus in everyday life. And um, Father, I just pray that... Um, 
that you would not only continue to be with us, but that we would understand that you are always with us and that we would be grateful for it. And, um, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to 5 Before, a faith community podcast. For more information, check us out at faithcommunitylc.com or look for our app on iTunes and in the Google Play Store.